Hey, my tech friends, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's continue to grow this channel. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome to another security video. In this video, we're gonna look at Windows 7. Specifically, we're gonna compare Windows 7 to Windows 11 from a security perspective. In this particular Windows 7 configuration, this machine is only running patches to January of 2020. This does not have any of the extended patches. It doesn't have the WSUS patches. It doesn't have any of the configuration additional patches that are available, the embedded or the point of sale. It is specifically just the Windows 7 out of the box installed updates to January of 2020. Now, before we jump into the Tenable scan, I do want to take a look and show some specific changes that occurred in the Windows 7 operating system versus say Windows XP or Vista. And that is no longer the need for the security change for the firewall. Like for instance, in the Defender firewall on Windows 7, the firewall is an afterthought to protect the operating system from threat. It's not there, it's not designed as a firewall to block the listening ports that are embedded or in the Windows 7 operating system from communicating outbound. They are there's a difference in the layer on Windows 7. Now, that's important to note because in Windows 10, they flip back to the old school way of doing it, but they do add a function in the firewall that the firewall is on by default and you have to manually shut it off through command line to actually get it to disable. If not, it doesn't actually disable. So with that being said, we know that if we look into our Windows 7 operating system here, we could see specifically that we have these particular ports listening. Now this is set up right now with the Windows firewall turned on. So these ports should communicate through the firewall out to the outbound. And on a port scan, we should be able to see those uh, ports open. Now, if we need a uh, reference as to what each one of these ports do, because we could see that we have our PIDs here, we could run a uh, task list command and show the PIDs and specifically see what each one of these PIDs are that are using the listening ports. Now the reason why I bring this up is because when we run the scan, because of the way this operating system is, this operating system should be more secure than Windows 10 and it should be more secure than Windows 11, regardless of whether or not the firewall is turned on. Let's take a look at Tenable and see what that looks like. Okay guys, so this is the Tenable side. And if you're familiar with my other videos, then usually what we'll do now is we'll just dig down into these systems to see what they look like with and without the firewall turned on. Now, because we looked already at Windows 7, we could see what the thing is actually listening on. I added a ports list into the custom configuration for known ports, like port 445, 135, 139. These are things that we know. Uh, port 389, we know that these ports exist on Windows. There's really no reason for scan for them. So I have them disabled on this particular system. Now I scan this also with the firewall off and with the firewall on. And the first one we're going to check is with the firewall on. So there we go. We have five infos, which is really not that bad considering this is an operating system that hypothetically hasn't been supported in the mainstream mode anyway since 2020, so for four years. This is with the firewall on. Let's take a look at with the firewall off, because that's usually where we see the big change in what we actually come back with, with the Windows firewall disabled, all these different ports are now listening. So we'll drill in in here with the firewall off, and once again, we see five. And the reason why is because we don't have any listening configurations. So Windows 7 works more along the lines of like the Linux logic, where if the application isn't running, there's nothing listening on that particular port. So while people will say, oh, you're not as secure as Windows 10 and 11 because you're not getting updates, based on our scans, we could see that that's not the case. So if we jump into our Windows 10 or Windows 11 system, without the policy out of the box configuration, no firewall, Windows 11, we should see the same thing, right? You should only have those five infos, but we don't. We have 40 infos and we have one medium vulnerability. And again, I'll bring this up. I brought it up in the other videos. You can check them out if you want. Check the Linux one for 
additional information on this, but the actual vulnerability that's listed here has existed in the Windows operating system since January of 2012. Now, why doesn't this exist in Windows 7? Well, because they probably did an update that contained this miscellaneous code that was in it, or malicious code that was in it, and they didn't fix the, the update to not contain this portion of code. So likely that update doesn't exist in Windows 7, and as a result, you won't see this. This is what happens when you add and change Windows operating systems with patches and you leave dirty old code in the actual application without cleaning it up or writing new stuff for the new operating systems. So as a result, what we could see is based off of our scans, and since the functionality in Windows 7 really does work pretty well in the, the, the maintain or the main, uh, in the, the current time frame, I would argue that Windows 7 is probably more secure to use than Windows 11 is right now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, this is entertaining for you guys, and we'll keep them rolling. Eventually I'll put together a video towards the end of this that'll contain all of the Windows operating systems so we could actually review specifically what the worst one is from a security factor in 2024. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down in the comments. I'm curious what your take is on finding out that Windows 11 contains issues with the latest patch revision that don't exist in prior versions of Windows. Do you still feel that Windows 11 is the most secure operating system you can use? Do you feel 10 is? Do you still think 7 is? Let me know what you think is the best operating system, at least from a usability and functionality standpoint, if not from a security standpoint. I'd really be interested in hearing what your take is on these Windows operating systems. And before anybody adds it, yes, I agree. Linux is still a better option if you want security. Thanks again.